Hello, all of you, Van Gloriously Wonderful People, and welcome back to City Skylines Part 8 in this brand and complete series. And the game's being rather laggy. Eh, it's fine now. Never mind. It's just a cinematic camera, probably because of the rain. So, one of the things that we need to address is our education percentage. We're doing all right on elementary, we're doing okay on high school. Uh, probably could do better actually we could do way better because 76 percent is terrible over there is pretty well educated actually how is that 24 percent of my city is this high school full is that our problem no nowhere near it um so yeah i'm not sure why they're not going to that but then 72 percent of citizens graduating from university if we ever want any more offices we're going to need to increase that number Thing is, we've got 3,000 eligible, right? Go over here, um, and we can see we've got 3,838, which means we have a lot of exchange students, which we should be able to see that by going into this, I believe. Um, no, exchange student bonus, 16%. It doesn't tell me how many are actually exchange students. Uh, but it's going to be a lot, because... Well, we've got more people enrolled than, um, than what are there. The thing is, this thing has a capacity of 8,643. So it's running nowhere near at capacity, even though we've got a pretty big city. Um, we could fix that one of two ways. We can improve mass transit to over here. Um, I could always just run, like, a subway terminal between these two areas. I'm a little worried that if I do that, though, that it's going to become overwhelmed and that people will stop using our train, which, my God, there's a lot of people using the train. Um, and I didn't mean a lot of people using the train, uh, like 1,021 passengers. You can see we have a ton of trains on the line, and it's still not enough. Um it's just not anywhere near enough. This one is always full. We could probably get away with putting yet another train on here just to take care of that. Because look, we've already got more than one train can hold. Uh, so this next train is going to come through. Yeah, it's going to empty completely out. Because it only goes back and forth between these two stations. You can see they're going into that station really full. And then coming back out about two-thirds of the way full. Maybe a little more than that, actually. Um... But by the time this train gets down here, this is going to be over 320 again, I bet. Uh, so we might be able to use even a sixth train on this line. Yeah, it's already over there. So let's bump this up to six. That's my concern. If I do a subway that goes under this river, which I could easily do because we've got uh, a subway terminal right here. I could always add like a small one in back here that's just its own little thing and then i could add another one like i don't know somewhere over here or up there um that way they're close to this subway they can just jump off cross the road and go in um that might get me more students guess so we can try that you can tell i'm not really keen on the idea though can't you um let's put it here and then we'll put this one kind of towards the middle of our university. Yeah, that's towards the middle. That way they have choices in where they go. Um, yeah, we'll put it there. And then let's see, that goes straight down that way. So it's going to need to curve. Uh, so we need to come in here with our rail system and go down. Um, what I'm going to do is bring it straight this way. Uh, for quite a ways um, up until we get on land here. Why are you not snapping? Did I ever turn that on? I never turned that back on from the last video. We're just like 20 minutes after the last time I recorded. So we're going to go like here and now it's... Okay, good. There we go. I don't want it to come out there. But then we've got to go down lower because this one is in the way. Uh, so we'll drop down to 20 meters... And that's still not low enough. Okay. Uh, Alright then. Oh, whoa, excuse me. 
I was looking at things underground. Thank you. There we go. Try again. And this time go down to... 36 is as low as I can go. 36 is enough. Cool. And then we can bring this back up rather quickly. Uh, except I don't know what this level is. 12, okay. So we need to bring this up to 12. That is a very steep incline. We're talking meters, not feet. Um, and then what I'm going to do here is um, this. I'm going to go this way and then right back out. Ooh, I don't like that at all. That's hideous. Can I make that not so ugly, please? I want to make it just a, a nice curve. It's kind of hard to do when it wants to snap to, like, the road. See how it wants to snap to the actual road? Um, so there is about right, and then about there is about right. And I'll just have to do... And then I want to do the same thing. Oh, my voice cracks down here. Um, like this. this and then ooh, this might not work actually so my, my idea was that it could just loop out and around and back up but there aren't one way tracks for this subway so maybe this won't work I'm going to try to make it work here I see that's what I'm thinking there okay so if I get this side go like that and then this side to merge in as well It'll merge there for me okay and we'll get rid of that then I can run a line that goes there comes up here and then if I tell it to go here yes yeah, so you get it. it makes a loop that way, it just kind of loops around, and we don't have trains backing up on each other. Um, having to, like, wait. Because uh, now a train will go out that way. And hopefully, that will bring more students over here. Uh, for now, it only has two vehicles, and no one at all wanting to ride it. There is a bus stop right there. By that one, this one is naturally by a bus stop, because this is a bus stop plus the other metro. Uh, so we'll just have to watch that and see if it gets any utilization whatsoever. Um, it's easy to find it. Uh, it's starting to get some interest. So maybe, 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 maybe. Um, and then if it gets too crowded, then we can always increase uh, the number of trains going back and forth. Because again, that's just a pretty closed loop, so they shouldn't get in each other's way. And hopefully that will boost the number of people attending university. My only other option would be to build another university somewhere, like either the university or the trade school. Um, not too keen on that idea. I mean, car trip saves zero percent. A lot of people are riding this thing. How is that possible? Ooh, okay, it's starting to get a little bit busy, actually. That's cool. It's over there at the other end that it's really getting busy. So I am going to go ahead and bump us up to three cars. I would just like to keep this number like below 100 people waiting. Um, and I think we can accomplish that with three. And since it is a four kilometer route, 4.2 kilometers no less, uh, you know, every point. What is that? I don't know. I can't do the math in my head. Um... Oh, wow, that one's getting really full now, too, right here at the university. Interesting. And this might also take care of some of our traffic problems, because if people can go back and forth between the two uh, across the river this way, that'd be kind of nice. I like that the metro is always full, you know, because that means they're making good money. Car trip save 100%. Awesome. So all 450 people we just saved from a car trip. That one is full. This one's about full. So let's bump it up to four vehicles. And see what we get here. I've kind of been wanting to do some more real-time stuff for the YouTube series. Because uh, I know that like those four-hour-long live stream archives can be a bit much to watch. 
I know some of you do watch them. Are you ever going to change sport? There we go. Uh, because you tell me so, and I can see by the view numbers and comments and likes and things that you guys uh, do watch the four-hour-long live stream archives. But I know it could be a bit much. Um, but you also miss a lot when I tend to be like, oh, we're going to let some time pass, and you know, then I cut ten minutes out. So I thought maybe we'll slow down for a few episodes and actually leave some of that stuff in. And, you know, I'll just talk like it's a live stream. I wind up talking a lot with nobody talking back at me in real time anyways on my live streams. Because a lot of times my live stream audience uh, likes to play games while they're watching me, too. Um, I don't know. When I'm watching live stream, watch live stream. That's just me, though. By the way, earlier I talked about, you know, I can see likes and comments and stuff like that. You may have noticed uh, about two weeks ago, well, three weeks ago now, I started doing a, uh, a little bumper on my videos, you know, with a, not a bumper, but just a little pop-up graphic down in the bottom left, you know, just reminding people to hit the like button, subscribe, and, and ring the notification bell. And I, I don't like doing that. So, I mean, when I see those on YouTube channels, I'm like, yeah, I know how YouTube works. I get it. You know, I, if I like a video, I'm going to remember to hit the like button. If I then watch a bunch of that person's videos, I'm going to then subscribe, you know, because I know how YouTube works. And I have resisted doing that on my channel for a very, very long time now. Um, some people, mainly channel supporters, but also just some people in the Vainglorious community have been encouraging me to rethink that um they're like look everybody does it everybody's used to it it doesn't offend anyone I'm like it offends me i don't like it when people do that i'll dislike a video because i'm you know old man yelling in the cloud um yes we did just go up to five trains on this line now and i think it's killing yeah it's killing the train usage look at that train usage number over there we were at over a thousand and now it's five well wait hold on though 700 we probably keeping our tourists but losing our citizen ridership which sucks but we'll see what happens but this one yeah, they're all going here now uh but anyway so i added it as a test to see what would happen and of course in the first two weeks that i had it live my new subscription to view ratio which you know how many new subscribers did i get per x number of views um it went up 300%. So tripled uh, in two weeks. So the numbers don't lie. YouTube says it too. They're like, you've got to have a call to action in your videos. So that's why it's there. I don't want you guys to think I'm like selling out or anything like that. You can call me sell out if you want to still. But you guys know I want YouTube and Twitch to be my full-time job. I work very hard at this um, to try to bring you guys stuff that you enjoy. And right now I know it's not enjoyable. Maybe, possibly, because you're listening to me talk about something other than the game I'm playing. But that's because we're also monitoring this Metro right now, which still is not keeping up with demand at this station. Is it this station right here? No, it's that station. Okay. Um, I thought it was that station. What I am noticing is that this bus stop's now not keeping up because of the number of people that it's dumping there. So we're going to have to deal with that, too. Um... But yeah, you know, I, I appreciate the feedback from people. Um, I take constructive feedback really well. I like constructive feedback. You know, if you have a criticism or feedback on something I do, tell me about it. You know, just do it in a constructive way, you know, to say that sucked isn't helpful. You know, tell me what about it sucked. And if you have an idea of what could have been better, what could have been better? You know, then that I can actually do something with. That's actionable information. But to just, you know, be like, you suck doesn't help. But if you want to type you suck in all my comments, you can, because I love you. Um, and I want to say thank you to all my YouTube members as well, because you guys uh, are part of the bigger supporter family. I've got two YouTube members, two Patreon pledges, and then 10 to 15, it varies, Twitch subs that, you know, all help out. And I greatly, greatly appreciate all of that. God, we're going to have to put a sixth train on here. Which, that's going to be about it. I, we really can't get that many more because we'll have them start getting one on top of each other here. But that's kind of how my live streams go with me talking about something other than the game I'm playing. 
Because you got to fill that time with something, right? So as long as we don't ever get a train waiting in queue here, then it'll be okay. Like, that's not bad. As one left, another one pulled in. Um, we are decimating our train line a little bit, which I was kind of figuring would happen. But the train line's not done. Eventually, that train here, um, and maybe even this one, if I can figure out a way to do it, are going to meet up with this train line. I'm going to have to run this train line all the way over here to meet up somewhere. Um, I don't know where yet. Maybe do an intersection here and bring it back down and behind and behind the highway here. Possibly. Don't know. Um... But this is all going to be eventually a tourism style island uh, towards this end. Airports kind of here and then oil and ore industry in a small neighborhood in between. That's the plan. I do like my uh, nature reserve park. I think it's kind of cool being out there on the island. And I like that so many people visit it, even though they have to walk across that big ass bridge. Um, it's kind of cool. But that's the plan for this city is, you know... It, getting that all done and then this over here can be everything from this park so all of this back in here that i'll actually use there's a big hill right here you can't really see it but there's a big hill right here but around the lakes or whatever they are ponds uh will be some zoning a little bit of zoning into here and then just a bit of industry down here we do have a prison over here now as well uh which the last i checked was really getting close to its capacity um, it's a little bit better now, but yeah. Anyway, let's do one last peek at what we've done to our train situation. Yeah, it's down to only 400 people. So that means we can now bump off a lot of these trains that we added. We can probably take it down to 100%, which is just three trains, and that'll be more than enough. We don't need to pay for them. And then we'll go back over to Metro. Uh, God, which one was it? Uh, I don't even know. What color is it? Where is it? Where is it? That's the question. There it is. It is, uh, hover over it, make it blink. Is it that one? No, that one? No, that one? That one. Oh, wow, it's our most used line now. Great. Um, yeah, they're keeping up now. It's so cool. They're, they're keeping up. Uh, but what we do need to check is that um, bus stop. So we need to find this bus line. Though it looks like that's cleared up as well. Maybe it just took a minute for the buses to kind of regroup themselves. But I don't think that there's... Yeah, there we go. Pretty much everybody that was waiting got on that bus. So we're good. We're good. Awesome. Uh, so that should take care of that. Let's look at our budget real quick on mass transit. And just see... Not the expenses but see if we're making money anywhere making quite a bit on metros and we're still making well, it was about two grand now it's 1300 so we're still making a little bit money on a uh, uh, little bit of money on trains losing a little bit of money on buses um but overall we're losing money because we got all of these post offices and then we're losing a little bit over here on trains as well i don't know why everybody's laughing over there but my god look at all those people that's insanity that's just absolutely crazy. Why do I have, still have a six lane there? Interesting. I don't remember doing that. Uh, but that's enough for that for now. I, what I want to do is, because this has been running for a few minutes, is see how we're doing over here. See if maybe we can't get some more people in. We're at 5% unemployment, so that's an okay number. These guys are starting to upgrade a little bit better. Have we impacted our... University attendance uh, by 1%, but our high school attendance has gone down. I just don't quite get that. Is it because these guys have to go so far to high school? There's this one here that's only half capacity, and there's this one here that's not even... They're not even half capacity, really. Well, I guess they're right at half capacity. You know, so it's kind of odd that they're not attending high school. Um, why is there a metro station there? Is that even hooked up to anything? Oh, it is. Okay, never mind. Uh, we are eventually going to have a metro that runs up and through here. Uh, but real quick, what I want to do is, since we do have so many uneducated people in town, is just give them a place to work. Um, should I come in here with this ugly, dingy 
industry gross road here. And let's see this. So that'll go there like that rather nicely. Cool. And then that was how many? I don't know, paying attention. 900. Can we get another 900 out of that? Yeah. And then we should be able to come through the middle here and do something kind of like that. I'm trying to figure out if there's a way to get a train line up and through here so that I can have another cargo terminal. But I'm betting that the industry that we're about to build is probably going to just wind up serving um, the uh, commercial. There's the word Brandon's looking for. Uh, the commercial that we already have out here. And then I don't think I want to go... I want to go right there to the edge. What's that going to look like? We can do that. It's probably going to be way too much industrial, honestly. Um, we'll find out. We're not going to zone it all right away. I mean, I can always, like... Do just, like, up there by the road is industrial. And then work our way, like, maybe some offices commercial here. And it's a little bit residential back here. You know, you're not the nicest neighborhood to live in, maybe? Maybe? My voice just cracked. That was awesome. Uh, but, you know, it... You know, at least the rent would be low. I don't know. Uh, let's see if I can't get that covered. Like, that. There we go. Awesome. And then we've just got one little section here. Cool. Uh, this will need services, though. It's not going to be covered by anything. Yeah, it's not. Uh, so, this is all going to be lower density so let's just throw in you now let's start thinking about this buffer zone of buildings i can do here so we can do like a firehouse and then a small police station um and that will take care of the services out here what about death care though do we even have any reaching out here we don't so we'll do that and then we'll come in here with just a small line just a very small line of industrial right there in the corner. So if I want, I can maybe even get some over here. Though, you see the pollution from this guy goes really far. He pollutes bad. Really bad. So we're going to put that in. Let him, let those guys start get going. I'm going to come down here and look at what I have for elementary schools. Elementary, my dear. Um, probably use one more. That's already half full. Jeez. Uh, how much is that serving? Only that little section. That's the thing. The elementary schools get really full. This holds up to 300. I think the alternative one holds less. Yeah, 250. Um, so we would stick with this guy. And we'll put one in there. And we'll put one in there. We'll grab the parks that we usually use for elementary, which is a small playground. Because I just think that's adorable. And then maybe one more high school, like, central to here. Yeah. And then a basketball court and a tennis court. Awesome. Uh, and then what's health care and everything like that up here? Uh, death care is fine. How about health care? Health care, pretty good. What about our... Uh, our... Elder care is covering that area, and our child care is also covering that area. Good. Uh, fire is covered, and our police covered. We have disaster shelters, so cool. Uh, what I need to do now is just see what I can get away with here, uh, because we do have some areas that uh, have some commercial. And as we know, commercial makes noise. So you just want to give it a little bit of a sound buffer, which that should be enough. Just that row of offices, four by four. And then the rest of this, we're going to spam in residential. Lots of it. Uh, see if we can't get this population up to 70,000 sometime this millennia. Because uh, I would really like to start building, uh, you know, some of the monuments. I like monuments in this game. Some people don't. I find them to be a really good addition. Uh, it really change up gameplay and give you a nice reward for having, you know, achieved a certain status and then help you go on to the next level. I need to go check on my uh, small fishing industry here. Occasionally, these guys fill up with fish. 
on the fires. Yeah, this one especially. Like, these two seem to be smart enough to just go, like, over here and... Well, actually, he doesn't have enough fish right now. But they seem to be smart enough to go there or when they export to come over here to the cargo or the uh, cargo train terminal. And there's even a fish market over here. They, These two seem to have that figured out. This guy sends all his trucks out on the highway. And I, I don't understand. Let's turn him on and off again. I mean, that's how you fix computer problems, right? So uh, we're going to turn him off and turn him back on again. We're going to let his trucks come back. Uh, and then see what happens. It might take a minute for his trucks to come back, too. So while we're waiting on that, we will uh, see how our growth is going. Not enough workers back there. Not a surprise, either. Uh, simply because of the fact that there's no mass transit over to there. Um, and we absolutely destroyed our residential land. Yet we still have this huge commercial demand. I... I I don't understand that. If we had an unemployment crisis, I would get that. But we don't have an unemployment crisis. It's fine. Um, God, we have a really single population over here. We need we need some babies. We need some babies being born. We need to start playing the bounce wow wow music for all those people. So my question is, since it's full of fish, will the, since I turned it off, will the trucks go back out? No. They will not. I'm going to let all the trucks come back. Then that way they can all go out and empty this place and then hopefully be able to use their brains and deliver somewhere more logical. Um, zero need for... Oh, we are starting to get some industrial and office demand. But we have office space zoned there. And we've got our industrial down there. I wonder if I can get away with just a little bit of residential out here. It's like low density residential. Because what I'm thinking is I can bring in commercial like that. And that should take care of the noise slash pollution problem. Yeah, it does. I don't know about the noise. Oh, yeah, he is loud. Look at that, dude. He is loud, loud, loud. Um, so I won't be able to do, I can do, get away with residential there, but probably not there. I can get away with residential there and there and even over to there to some extent. And this will leave me room to, to play with what I want to have in these areas. A lot of the pollution, not the noise pollution, but the actual pollution pollution will go away, uh, when we hit 70,000 because I'll be able to build the Eden Project, which eliminates pollution. Anybody using my tunnel? Yeah, versus real. Oh no, somebody did. Who used my tunnel? Who are you? You are a young adult. You are driving an electric car Edison Model 5. Good for you, Charlie Roberts. Let's follow you. Even kind of looks like a Tesla, doesn't it? A little bit. Sounds like. Tesla. I love this park. If you didn't watch anything from the Enormous Park anybody or whatever they called that video, check out the building of this park. It, it's it's nice. It is a very nice park. We put in a little pond for them and everything. Lots of trees, lots of playgrounds, and it is very popular. Um, I'm considering doing another nature reserve here or up here. Um, so... Real quick before we wrap up this video, 76% still on our high school, but those numbers should be dropping temporarily simply because we've got a lot of new people moving in. Um, I really want to get this number of citizens that are graduated up. Granted, once we can get the monuments and we can build the large Hadron Collider, which we've built every requirement for it, uh, so it'll just be a matter of, you know, we've got almost 62 million in the bank. Once we hit 70,000, I can build the Eden Project and the Hadron Collider, uh, and boom, instantly education is met. Um, though I will turn off the bit about it uh, not impacting our universities, because I want people to still attend this, because I'm making um, basically all my money right now is coming from 
there. Uh, so we're going to end off where we started. Uh, the train is down to under 400 people riding it. So we could probably now go down to just two trains. So that one's pretty close to full. So maybe not. I'm betting that over here. We're gonna, yeah, you see the trains that bring in tourists. Uh, when that comes in, which I don't understand why it's not. There was another train in there. So when he comes in, we're going to see that number jump up most likely. Yeah, okay. So I definitely need to keep three. Otherwise, we won't be able to service the number of people that we have. And then our metro is that button. God, almost there, there. Yeah, everybody that was riding that train is now riding that metro loop, which kind of makes me a little bit sad um, to see the train nerfed like that, but whatever. So pretty much it's just people who live way over here that don't have an easy connection to this metro, which is, ooh, actually they all have an easy connection to that metro, I just realized because they've got this metro and then they can walk over to there or take a bus over to there. Maybe having that come out here isn't the best idea. Maybe if I just have it go like here to here on a loop. You know, honestly, I don't think having a metro run out to the country is a good idea anyway. Maybe, if I remember, We'll get rid of that in the next video and see how that impacts the train usage. Because if I can get the people who live over here to take the train to get over there instead of taking Metro, 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 that would make me really happy because I want my train to get used. Not the Metro, Metro, Metro. By the way, we do have a Metro tunnel coming out right there so that it can come across. Yeah, you like that? Um, but anyways, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this one. So, until next time, I'm Brandon, reminding you to stay vainglorious.